Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. Thanks for joining me in the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In the last video, I showed you how to quickly set up tabular reporting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a distribution list and a report task so you can send out your report template. Before we continue, please be sure to visit the Click Learning portal at learning.click.com for all your personalized and structured learning needs of what Click has to offer. Here you can select from both free and subscription-based content, instructor-led training, skills assessments, and robust video tutorials. Check out the video tour on the main page to get started. Now, please understand when you watch me go through this, there are a number of ways of already doing report distribution through subscription, through the report services blocks that are available in application automation. In fact, directly within ClickSense, I could take a report object and I could subscribe to this and then I could have this sent to me as well. But this particular example is going to focus on using report, Excel formatting, and accessing the already governed and curated assets that are in ClickSense and bringing them directly into the Excel template using the add-in I showed in the last video. So let's just jump in to the reporting tab that is part of prepare within the app. So when you create these tasks, you have to be within the app that you are using. In this case, you can see now we have this reporting tab. So before we set everything up from scratch, I'm just going to use an existing setup and then we can backtrack. And this particular video is going to expand probably a few more videos. So you can see additional capabilities that are available in the tabular reporting. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm just going to add recipients. So I'm just going to go to recipients and click add recipients and groups, and I'm going to upload a new version. Now there is full documentation that describe this, but basically there is a format of groups and usernames and email addresses that you could use an Excel file for, or even an external data source. We even provide a sample download for you to follow. I've already done all that. I'm just going to use this example that I have called recipients. And what I'm going to do is just open it in Excel so you can just see what it looks like. It's just a simple file. It's got two tabs. Again, this is all documented. This is actually part of the sample file that's downloaded. I just deleted it and started over just to show you. We have name, email, filters, and groups. And these are blank because I'm not using any filters or groups at this time. The name is Donkey Kong. The email is an external email address. And then this one right here, service groups, QCS, there's nothing in it. So just to show you what it looks like, and it's going to upload. Now, little tip and trick, what's happening under the covers is actually looking at that structure and it's actually creating a section in the data load script when you use this approach. And it's loading this particular user or group and email address as fields that are actually part of your data model. So when you see this file was uploaded, added one user, added zero groups, click close, and there's Donkey Kong. Well, if we go to the data load editor, okay, I already have that tab open here and uh, let's just refresh this. What you're going to see is a section called distribution list and you can see it's put to the bottom and this is what's generated automatically. So obviously if you follow this format, you can grab your users and groups and filters and all that stuff from other sources. I'm just using the Excel file for this example. Now, another little tip here is if you're really deep into using click script and you have like exit scripts somewhere when you reload this particular file it might fail from the automatic loading because it encounters the exit script so a good tip is just grab the distribution list and move it to the top but again there's a few ways how you might want to achieve this this is just when using the sample excel file okay you can see it actually loads it to data files and that's the file with the recipient so that's where that's coming from. So now that we have our recipient, we're going to go to templates. Okay. And the template is just what's created within the uh, Excel online interface uh, utilizing the uh, add-in. And here's an example of that template. And I'm going to show you again, creating that. So I'm going to upload this template. I'm going to click browse. Now this is hooked up to my OneDrive environment. So I have one called unfulfilled order template. And then I have to create a report task. 
again there's a lot of steps here that show you what to do i'm just going to bypass that we're going to give it a title and we're going to call it unfulfilled orders report and we're going to say add existing template and just select that template from the list click next provide a file name which is going to be the attachment name unfulfilled orders right now the format is locked into excel and we don't have any filters okay users and groups i'm just going to start typing donkey kong it's going to automatically recognize the name and we are done here okay email subject body you can say check this out and if you wanted to you could also actually write it to a sharepoint location uh, i don't have that set up so we're just going to send it as an attachment click next and i click save so there is our report task and right now the way it's set up you can see that we can um, delete it disable it send now it's set up right now on reload so every time this uh, reloads the data or this particular app it's going to send out this distribution uh, of this report so i'm just going to click send now and let's bring in our outlook email to the mix wait a few seconds And there it is. So unfulfilled orders report. There's the file name. There's the message. Check this out. I'm going to click this, get a nice little preview. So these are all of the orders that are not fulfilled. So if this was being sent to, for example, somebody who's responsible for being aware of this, they now have an idea of what they need to build. So at this point here, we're going to stop the video. In the next one, I'm going to dive in deeper and show you creating the template and cover a couple other tips and tricks and nuances about this. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video. Take care.